talk, don't try to get the child interested in your talk. Talk about what the child is interested in. So if I hold up this book, right? But the baby is reaching for my tea. Then I'm not going to, I'm going to put the book down and I'm going to talk about my tea. And if the baby is, if you're talking to the baby uh, um, about a uh, toy, but the baby is looking out the window, then change your mind and talk about what they see out the window. Follow the reference of the child and you will be able to capture that teachable moment, even if that child is six months, eight months, 10 months, well before they talk. And I have another secret trick that I'm going to tell you in a minute, but I'm holding back to see if you have any other questions right now. Well, what I do want to make sure that we touch on, and this is why I did not put together a lot of questions, because I knew that there was so much, well, we talk and talk, <laughs> uh, how much we would, you would be able to elaborate on just the couple of points I threw out there to you. And the one that I want to make sure we do incorporate into maybe what you're already talking about mm -hmm. is that people used to believe that it was confusing <gasps> if a child heard more than one language at the same time. Ah. We now know, the, you know, what I've read, um, probably some of it from you, mm -hmm. is that the brain processes its primary language in a different area than it processes other languages. And it knows what accent to put with what language. Right. It's amazing. So please assure parents, reassure that if you're in India and you speak Hindi, but you want your child to know English, you could teach them both at the same time and start as soon as they get home from the hospital. Or I, right. I agree with all of those things because the brain is primed and ready to learn language. So before we even think of how to teach language, the, the baby's brain is already at work. They are way ahead of us. 